Hello friends, in this session, we'll discuss the geography of North America. We know geography of North America is very important for civil service point of view. And those who are preparing for civil service, even for general readers, North America is very important. Let's discuss North America in details. You just see, I will draw first of all Suppose this is North America, right? Don't worry if it is not like that of math. I will explain how to memorize those things. You just see, this is your Canada. And this is USA. And this one, Mexico. Look at here first of all. Suppose this is globe, right? And we know this is North America, this one South America, this one Europe, Africa, Asia, and this one Australia, Antarctica, and this is Arctic Ocean. Right? So we are studying here. North America, you can see here, we are studying this one, right? And for your information, you have to remember, this North America is the third largest, first point, third largest continent in the world. So you, you can note down this point. So third largest continent in the world, and obviously, this South America is fourth largest, this one third, Asia, number one, number two, right? And you can say number four, number five. We do not consider for time being Antarctica. So don't worry because in Antarctica there is no human settlement, permanent human settlement. So that's why we ignore this side. So this is the third largest, you just keep in mind. Let's discuss these countries and the political features and also the physical features. <clears throat> How to memorize this country? Just remember C U M. So you can remember these countries are C U M, just like C U M dot com. So you can memorize this is C U M. This is Canada, USA, and Mexico. First of all, we have to understand the capitals. Canada capital Ottawa, USA. Washington DC. Washington DC. Why DC? Because DC means District of Columbia. So DC means, just remember, DC means District of Columbia. District of Columbia. Right? And Mexico capital, Mexico City. Mexico City. It's a very important thing. City concept. Remember the city capitals or city concept of capitals. I will give you number of capitals which is uh, just like the same country. Take example here. Suppose if I say Mexico, then Mexico City. Right? If I say Singapore, then just R, Singapore City. Right? So Singapore City. And if I say Panama, then Panama City. Panama City. And if I say Luxembourg, then Luxembourg City. Just our city. So there are so many countries around the world. You will find the capital is same. Mexico, Mexico City. Singapore, Singapore City. Panama, Panama City. Luxembourg, Luxembourg City. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. Anyway, we are talking about the geography of North America, right? So let's begin in details. So these are the capitals you have to remember and 
there are only three countries in North America. Big, big countries. Second step, second step we have to learn here the, you can say, uh, another part, you can add here, this is also US. I will talk about this, step by step we will learn. First we will learn the political features, then we will learn the physical features. And USA, why it is USA here and this is USA, you just try to understand. <clears throat> this one is called Alaska. Actually, if you look at the globe, you will find that, okay, North America is here and this one Asia and Russia is here, you form on USA, sir. Actually, USA purchased, USA purchased, Alaska from Russia, Russia in 1867. So that's why this landmass is known as USA and it is the largest state of USA, Alaska. So you have to keep in mind that Alaska is also part of USA, which is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state, largest state, right? And we know there are 50 states, if you divide this, you will find there are 50 states, may not be in, uh, in a scale, but there are 50 states, you will understand, and in the beginning, there are only 13 states. Anyway, we will talk step by step. So first thing, you have to remember that this Alaska was purchased by USA from Russia in 1867. So this is Alaska, right? Now we will discuss the important features related to physiography of North America. Here you will find Horsham Bay. Horsham Bay. So Horsham Bay is located in the part of uh, Canada. So Horsham Bay. And here you will find in this part the largest island of the world, you can say Greenland. So here is Greenland. Greenland. And it is separated by, you can say, Davis Strait. Davis Strait. This Davis Strait separates USA, USA, uh, Canada from Greenland. So this Davis Strait is most important. Here is Devi Strait. What is a strait? Strait is a water line. So narrow water line or narrow water channel. Right? So strait means narrow water channel. And this Devi Strait separates Greenland from Canada. This is the point you have to keep in mind. So this point is clear and it is the largest island in the world largest island in the world. This point you have to keep in mind. Right? Now we will discuss the various lakes, important lakes we are going to discuss. Important lakes. You just see, in Canada, most of the lakes are in north to south. Here you will find various lakes, right? These are the lakes, right? So what are those lakes? Great Bear Lake. Great Bear Lake. So I write L for lake. Reindeer Lake. Reindeer Lake. Great Slave Lake, Great Slave Lake, right? Michigan Lake, there are so many lakes in this area Canada. So you have to keep in mind, for exam point of view, the important lakes of Canada. Apart from these lakes, there are beautiful five lakes, just like flower. Just see here. Here, 
you will find five lengths. Five lengths. And we call this actually homes. H O M E S. Actually, this is USA and this is Canada. In between Canada and USA, five legs are present. We call this actually homes. What is homes? We are going to discuss right now. S stands for Huron Lake. Huron Lake, right? O stands for Ontario Lake. Ontario Lake. And M stands for Michigan Lake. E stands for Erie Lake. Right? And you have to remember, you should not confuse with Erie, E-Y-R-E. -E. Erie is a lake in Australia. Erie Lake in Australia, you have to remember Australia. But this Erie Lake is present in the border of Canada and the USA. This is the point you have to remember. And the last one is Superior Lake. Superior Lake, right? What are the important things you will find here along the border of Canada and USA, these lakes? Actually, it's looking very beautiful, just like flower. And these are the lakes, five lakes, and they can be called as lifeline of USA and Canada, right? And this superior lake, this superior lake, superior lake is the largest fresh water lake, largest fresh water lake in the world. Largest fresh water lake in the world, you have to remember this point. This point is very important. So it's the largest fresh water lake in the world. And if you talk about the largest lake, it may be sweet or salt, no matter, Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea is the largest lake. Largest lake. Do not confuse. Superior Lake is the fresh, fresh water lake and Caspian Sea. Why we call this sea? Because it's so large lake, we call this, it's a lake. Uh, it's a sea. So Caspian Sea is the largest lake and it touches many countries. So keep the formula here. Caspian Sea touches Kitar. K-I-T-A-R. Kitar. So when we discuss about Asia geography, then We'll go for that detail. However, I'm telling which countries Caspian Sea in Asia is touching. You just see. Or you can say Kazakhstan. So you can note down Kazakhstan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, and finally Russia. So we are talking about this Caspian Sea. Anyway, come here. So five legs are here, and these are the legs in Canada. So now lake part is over. Hope you have understood this lake parts, right? And apart from these legs, there are a number of water bodies we are going to discuss. Here is one water body. Now we are focusing water body. So here, here you will find water body, right? Right. This is called actually Gulf of Mexico. We call this Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico. Right? And this Gulf of Mexico is named after Mexico, very simple. And this is the largest gulf largest gulf in the world <clears throat> largest gulf in the world this point you have to keep in mind there are so many gulfs around the globe gulf of manar and uh, gulf of mexico there are so many gulfs but you have to remember the largest gulf is gulf of mexico and if you talk about largest uh, bay then bay of bengal so largest bay please remember largest bay in the world that's bay of bengal Bay of Bengal. Right. So this is the information you have to keep in mind. There are so, there are so many islands here you'll find no doubt. 
West Indies you will find, right? Jamaica also you will find. Jamaica capital Kingston. So there are so many small small islands are found here in this uh, uh, near Gulf of Mexico, and that sea is called actually Caribbean Sea. Another sea you have to remember here the Caribbean Sea. Please remember. Gulf of Mexico, also Caribbean Sea. Caribbean Sea. So we call it also Caribbean Islands. So islands of Caribbean. Caribbean Sea. So Gulf of Mexico here, Caribbean Sea is here. So Jamaica you will find, West Indies, small small countries you will find here. Right? Now we will focus the mountain range of North America. Let's understand. <clears throat> mountain range, I'll change the color right now. Here is one mountain range. Right? And this mountain range we call Rocky. Rocky mountain range. And Rocky Mountain Range stretches from north to south, Rocky Mountain Range, in the western side of North America. This point you have to keep in mind. And while studying Rocky Mountain, always remember that in each country, Canada, USA and Mexico, you will find the highest peaks. So let's talk about the highest peaks. <clears throat> now we'll discuss highest peaks. First of all, we have to discuss Canada, highest peak, Mount Logan, right? Mount Logan is the highest peak of Canada. And USA, we call this actually whitening, Mount Whitening, right? And you have to remember that uh, uh, this uh, highest peak of Mexico, is Orizaba. Orizaba, Mount Orizaba, right? And if you talk about the highest peak of Rocky, and if you talk about highest peak of Rocky, we call this actually Mikkelin. Or simply you can say Kilin. Kilin is the highest peak of Rocky. Highest peak of Rocky. Let's, uh, I will explain again, don't worry. Let's discuss again. Just see here. If you talk about Canada, right, the highest peak of Canada is Mount Logan. So Logan is the highest peak of Canada. Okay? And highest peak of USA is Whitney. And it's near Death Valley. So it's near Death Valley. Death Valley is the deepest point of North America. Right, just like Erie Lake is the deepest point of Australia. So you have to remember that this uh, Mount Whitney is the highest peak of US. Done. And Orijaba, Orijaba is the highest peak of Canada. Sorry, Mexico. So highest peak of Mexico, Orijaba. Highest peak of USA, Whitney. Highest peak of Canada, Mount Logan. And if you talk about entire Rocky Mountain, this is Rocky, then highest peak is Kimli. This point you have to keep in mind while studying the mountain ranges of uh, uh, North America, right? And we'll talk right now a few things related to mount, uh, mountain or you can say hill ranges of Canada and the USA. Let's discuss. Here you will find Mackenzie Range. This range is called Mackenzie Range. So I will delete this part. This range is actually called Mackenzie. Or even you can say Brooks Range. Brooks Range is there. So there are so many ranges. Brooks Range. 
here you will find Alaska range. Alaska range. There are so many ranges. Range means here mountain range, right? The small small things you have to remember, right? And this Alaska range, you know, you have to remember very important because many times they ask Alaska range is located in which state, US state. So they may ask you Brooks range, they may ask you Mount Logan, so many things. So you have to keep in mind those things. Now we'll discuss the dangers of North America. Dangers. The most important desert is found here in this region. In this region, you will find one desert. We call this actually Sonoran Desert. Sonoran Desert. This point you have to remember. Sonoran Desert, also known as Mojave Desert. This is also known as Mojave Desert. So Mojave Desert. You can call Sundram Desert or Mojave Desert. This is very important. So please remember this desert, uh, Mojave Desert or Sundram Desert. This is very important, right? Now we we'll focus the rivers of North America. I am discussing only the important features for exam point of view, so don't worry, you can uh, match all these things in your atlas, right? The longest river of this North America is Missouri, Mississippi. You will find here the rivers, right? Missouri, Mississippi. Missouri, Mississippi. So Missouri, Mississippi River you will find here. Even also Colorado River you will find Colorado River. So these are the rivers you have to remember, for example, point of view, Colorado rivers, and they fall into Gulf of Mexico. This is Gulf of Mexico. So they may ask you that this Missouri, Mississippi, Colorado rivers fall into which sea, bay, lake, ocean. So you have to keep in mind that they fall into Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico. This point you have to keep in mind. Right? So these are the things you have to remember. And for Canada, you will remember here one river, Mackenzie River. Mackenzie River. So this river is also very important. And here the Mississippi, uh, Mississippi and Missouri, and also Colorado River. And here you will find Colorado Plateau. Colorado Plateau. And this plateau is very important. They may ask you, Colorado Plateau is located in which area? And uh, we call this also Great Basin. We call this also Great Basin because most of the rivers of North America they drain here, so we call this uh, Great Basin. And here you will find one place, Death Valley. This point you have to remember Death Valley. Death Valley is the deepest point. Deepest point of North America, right? And I have already explained Mount Mikinley or Kinley, you can say, highest peak of or highest point of North America. Highest point. So these two things, Death Valley and Mount Kinley, you have to remember for exam point of view, right? So these are the things. For exam, so you can memorize all these things. Now we'll discuss the miscellaneous facts of, of North America. And uh, often they ask a few things which are not in our syllabus also. They can ask you <clears throat> something extra from North America. So for North America, you have to remember that uh, Mexican plateau is there. This plateau is called Mexican plateau. This plateau is called Mexican plateau, so they may ask you the Mexican plateau, right? And now we'll just add few things to this diagram. You will find few countries here, right? Before starting, here you'll find South America, right? South America. So what are those countries? We are going to just focus these countries, right? Actually, here 
Panama is there. Panama, capital Panama city. Panama, Nicaragua, Belize. All these small, small countries you have to remember here, right? So while studying North America, you have to focus on such southern part countries, small, small countries. They are very beautiful countries, so you have to remember, right? These are the things you have to keep in mind. And hope I you have understood this. Wish you happy learning. In next session, we'll come with special features with respect to Canada, USA, and Mexico. Thank you very much. Wish you happy learning.